Growing up in two different worlds and being both an American and a Chinese, Pearl S. Buck was evaluated by the former president, Richard Nixon, who on March 6, 1973, quoted as saying, Pearl S. Buck was a human bridge between the civilization of the East and West. With simple eloquence, she translated her personal love for the people and culture of China into a rich literacy heritage treasured by Asian and Westerners alike. Pearl S. Buck is a famous American woman writer and the winner of Nobel Prize of Literature in 1938. She was born on June 26, 1892 in West Virginia in the United States. Only three months old, she was brought to China by her missionary parents. She grew up in Xinjiang, a city located at the joint connection of the Grand Canal and Yangtze River in Yangshu province. She lived together with general Chinese peoples and peasants in rural areas since her childhood. Her early education was Chinese culture. She liked to read Chinese classic novels, such as All Men Are Brothers by Shui Hu Chuan and Poems of Red Dream Pavilion, Hong Lao Meng. Edified and cultivated by Chinese classic culture and novels, Pearl S. Buck set her life roots with China and Chinese people. In 1921, she began to write her first novel, biographical fiction of her mother. Chinese people and Chinese matters were always her major resources and characters in her books. In 1931, she published The Good Earth, which was quickly up to the top of the best-seller book in the United States and reprinted almost 20 editions in the first year alone. In 1932, The Good Earth was awarded the Pulitzer Prize. Not long after, MGM Film Company produced the cinema version, which attracted an audience of Americans and Europeans of millions in 1937. In 1938, Pearl S. Buck won the Nobel Prize of Literature with her four Chinese novels and three biographical fictions. The Good Earth was touted as the greatest novel written by a foreign novelist in the 20th century. It's greatly changed the impression of Westerners on Chinese people. Frankly speaking, Pearl S. Buck, with her art sight and love heart, disclosed Chinese people's souvenir of their land, extension of life, suffering and redemption of soul, the sinking and agitation of human nature. Therefore, Pearl S. Buck made a tremendous contribution to the modern cultural exchange. In 1934, after living in China for nearly 40 years, Pearl S. Buck returned to the United States. She still took much concern on China and wrote several novels on China's anti-Japanese war. During World War II, she wrote many articles and made speeches frequently on social assembly platforms to strongly support China's anti-Japanese war. Meanwhile, she set up China Emergency Relief Committee to do fundraising for Chinese people. Pearl S. Buck and her husband, Richard Walsh, set up the Citizen Committee to Repeal Chinese Exclusion in 1943. For the act of repealing the Chinese Exclusion Act, which was made in 1882 and deemed very unfair and racially discriminant to Chinese immigrants. The movement was greatly supported by American people, Congress, and the federal government of the United States. As a result, the law was abolished by United States Congress in October of 1943. China former premier Cha Wenlai once said, Pearl S. Buck is a famous novelist. She has deep feelings to Chinese people. During World War II, she sympathized with the Chinese people and fully supported China's resistance war against Japanese aggression. She is a friend of Chinese people. In 1949, Pearl S. Buck donated her money, setting up a Welcome Home Foundation that assisted raising American Asian children. In 1964, she donated $7 million to set up the Pearl S. Buck Foundation 
providing medical and educational aid to thousands of Asian American children. On March 6, 1973, Pearl S. Bach died at the age of 81 in Danby, Vermont. She devoted all her life to mutual understanding between the East and West. She had rich resources by her dual cultural background for her books, including many benefits and some confusion. We believe, however, that China was truly in her care forever.